Welcome back. We want to thank you that we are currently in The Hague in the Netherlands. Um, the Hague is a city on the North Sea coast of Western Netherlands. And also this is where the king works, the king of the Netherlands, and also in an area called the North Einden. The city is also home to UN's International Court of Justice, which is headquartered here, and also the International Criminal Court. If you take note of, um, we just wanted to show you the city a little bit, there's too much to see in this city. Take note of this uh, building on the left side, it's pretty tall, and it's called uh, the Hague's uh, uh, Torren, if I'm, if I'm pretty sure, the Hague Tower, so to point out. This building contains over 300 studios, we are told, and uh, over 51 luxury flats are in this place, and it's flourishes and furnished, and there is also a panoramic view of this particular um, building when you go into it and it, it, it contains about it's 42 floors so to point out it's interesting so it, it's pretty tall you do have a dedicated lift and also there is a terrace on the top uh, which when you climb up there you are able to see uh, the ships in the North Sea so it is really fascinating could be a wonderful experience the Hague is a beautiful city and we just want to take a look like in the evening we are just walking through to one of the most famous uh, train station is just down the road there and as you can see these are trams it's pretty busy here the way we look at the city um, people are like running helter scatter so they point out because they're trying to catch up things it's really fast it reminds me of um, Lagos in Nigeria and, uh, and Johannesburg in South Africa it's like uh, you just have to really be fast it's like catch me if you can so on the left side you realize that it's like tram shelter where people can stop and change their trams to different parts of the city it, it's really everything is really put together um, what we begin to notice here you will see that a lot of bicycles in this in this country in particular and also you can see that across you see the bicycle lanes uh, on, on, the, on, the, on the floor marking so it's very important look at the the white um, signs there the train signs it's written there De Hick Holland Spore this is really an important international train station that's well known in, in a lot of places and I just move the camera a little bit so you can see the tram stop you can see the bicycles are passing at the same time you see people are, the foot tracks is, are there and the cars are passing so you have to be very vigilant while you walk around uh, the trams are coming it's like rush hour at this time from what I, I could really imagine from now on so this train station is known from all over the world I've, I've met a few people from uh, from across um, West East Africa Southern Africa who visited this city and who've lived here studied in this city to told me that the Hague Holland Spore, it's a well-known city. So I thought that uh, coming here to see this, uh, this train station um, uh, could be a very good experience for some of our viewers who have some really good memories for those who've lived in, in The Hague. So you can see that there are, there are different people in this city from different cultural backgrounds, white, black, Asian, Latino, um, straight, gay, all kinds of people are in this in this city I mean you can just see that there are supermarkets and just look how that's the tram track on the floor you can see on the left side of the car you have to be really vigilant because it's really easy for you to be to be hit down by a bicycle than, than a car from from what I can see so uh, you have to be very careful and this just look at the building it, it is the hick HS as we've told is Holland Spore. So this is like a train station behind. You have trains that goes to Rotterdam, to the city, um, goes to uh, goes to Rosendal, to Belgium, Brussels, um, Antwerpen, I think. So the hick is between um, Rotterdam and uh, and Leiding, and you have Delft, uh, the the wonderful uh, technological university is there in just. I think a few kilometers from this city so you can see that uh, trams are coming it's like rush hour when you look at the left side you see how many people are like cramming to get into the trams to move back to uh, it's like it around 6 30 now I would say um, so 
you can just see the bicycles are coming so while you are walking you have to be very careful because it's actually rush hour the delivery guys are there you can see this guy with um uh with, with a motorbike um trying to, to deliver food so the, the whole system is complex and uh, you have to be really aware of your, your surroundings, of how you move around and do your things. These red trams are like signature thing that we, we've noticed. And you see the zebra crossing there, and you see the, um, the bicycle lane, it's there. So everything, you have the foot part, it's also there. So everything is put together. It seems like it's, it's very organized in this The Hague City. That's what we're beginning to notice. I think there's a lot it's a magnificent building there um look at that hake tower that we told you you can see it's right up there on the left hand side the top left of this video so we we, we decided that we wanted to just walk straight to um, to the city center we, we shall be looking at a number of things it, it appears a very clean city from what we see uh, i was just like compare this to uh, rwanda um, uh, that is uh, and Kigali. Kigali is a very beautiful place. I remember a couple of years uh, went to Kigali, and it's a clean, very clean place. Some uh, you notice that uh, the country Kigali has transformed. So when you look at look at the trams are coming, and um, you you see that the cars are passing, and you see people moving. So the Netherlands really manages the space to a certain extent. So you see that you have to be careful the way you walk around because behind you the cars like the lady who is crossing cars are behind you trams are in front of you you have traffic lights are there so you have to be like focused you know um you don't have to lose your guard um, because everything is pretty fast here looking at um we were just walking down to go to the city center itself and we saw that there was there is this lighting because around 6 30 getting to 7 p.m now because winter is, is fast approaching now it's uh, october you know um we saw this intersection this roundabout so we decided to just stop here and want to take a look and how this roundabout connects the different intersections uh it, it is it is a clean city just to point out because from what we have seen so far now you can see that the trams have some kind of priority that's what, what i'm looking at i'm not really sure but uh, most of the time when we get to some traffic signs you will see the trams will always have some kind of priority when they're coming through and you have the delivery guys you have the cars you have the taxi you have um, individuals who are walking so you, you see everything is happening at the same time and the traffic lights are giving their indication so um it, it's just a combination of a number of things so we are beginning to discover this city like i was saying the guy just walked with a bicycle and uh, it's just so organized so we're just waiting for the traffic light to turn um to turn green then we can go through and this city this we told behind this white building there there's a, it's a major um car park and this is a very popular hotel that we just want to go down straight to show you um, the Hague uh, Theater um, Cultural Center. It, it's a wonderful building that uh, we toured. So we just wanted to walk through there and see how it is. We hope, hopefully, we can get there before before the <laughs> the weather kind of turned dark. So we will be there in a second. So we're just walking the camera around to see where we just came from. So you know we are going down straight to... Uh, there is a popular uh, eating place here. The Chinese restaurant, as we are told, is on the right-hand side here. Um, it, it is... Um, you can see that this bicycle... There's more bicycle in this country than cars, like we said in the beginning. This is Ming Dynasty. We are told that this is a very important restaurant. Um, Asian kitchen, Asian food, spicy food for those of you who love spicy food. Um, it, it is a very, it's a place, I'm sure that we're gonna try Chinese food and see how that works. Um, 
down the road we are also told a national bibliotheque it is called like the national library or the Hague library so the point out it's just down there and the city hall is also this white building you're looking at i think there's construction work going on here heavy construction work and it's just a few meters away from from where this magnificent building of uh, the Hague Cultural Center is. So this building you are seeing, the white building, is actually the city council of the Hague. Now this is this is the, the construction, this is the, the city um, cultural center, uh, which is like a theater or whatever. I think <laughs> you have to be careful the bicycles are coming all the time. So you have to like be on your guard. Now, the trams are also coming, as you can see. What you notice is that the red tram appears to be like the dominant color. Um, there are a number of other trams that we've seen. Like, okay, you can see that there's another tram coming. So everything is like moving. So the city is moving in a way from, from our assessment. Now, when, when you look at on the right side, this is the city council, as you see there. It's an incredible structure. When you, when you look at it, it stretches right down there. And this is the Hague's Cultural Theater. So um, it's under construction, uh, we are told. Uh, we've asked to come there to do some video around, but I think we're going to do that hopefully um, while we are. But today we just want to walk through to see a very brief part of the city. And um, hopefully we can dig deeper also to, to see other places. Uh, we are told the hick is beautiful. We will, we will see that ourselves. So we're just walking straight to the main city center. Um, we're planning to also come in here to maybe do some shopping in the weeks ahead. Um, so this is just like a standard shop where you can get furnitures and a few things. Um, so we're just walking straight to the city center. And this is just our first evening. We just want to take a look around. Um, we just want to go a little bit to the we're not yet in the heart of the city this is just um uh, we're walking through straight to where you can see the, the high street shops they are there everywhere um on the right side here it, it is uh, the Hague city council um and also the Hague uh, library center is on the left side the blue markings on the wall so it's so far it's, it's a clean city we haven't even explored when five of this city and we shall show you we haven't been to Rotterdam we haven't been to The Hague I mean to Amsterdam so um, a lot of things are happening it, it's, it's still like getting to 7 p.m. now on the left side is a movie theater there um, a film house and everyone is just busy getting to uh, like the Russian home so it reminds me of some of the very busy cities across the African continent as well and this this like 100 meters from here it's a very popular uh shop we are told it's called primax down there and on the left side like where the tram is turning left if you go in there you see the high street that that's what we we advised but i think we we should do some you can see the bibliotheque in dutch so that's like um the library um, so this this is a, like a, a, a mega shopping center. This is called Primax, so it, it is it's an interesting shop. So the point that you can see people from different background uh, are living in in, in, in in the Netherlands, in in the Hague in particular. So that's what we are seeing here. We haven't even gone to other cities. It's just uh, we just walk around to just take a taste of um, of what is. Of what is to come right so um, trams are going people are working this in front of you we are told is an underground there are trains going down the trams passing on the ground <laughs> this is interesting so and you can see the straight there where you see the lightning coming it tells you there are things happening down there so we will discover those areas uh, we're gonna go shopping we're gonna show you a few things there um, it is a clean city from our assessment um, it's beautiful 
and we hope to explore more. We haven't even gone to the industrial sections or the skyscrapers there. Look down there, you're able to see um, on the right side is the city hall which goes down and those two tall buildings we are towards one of the tallest buildings in the Hague it's right down there uh, which is a pointed head so it is um it's a fascinating uh, place to see so we got a lot of things to check on in this amazing Dutch city um, the Netherlands uh, like we've said we're going to be looking at the number of things and also explore the city a little bit more we shall go to other cities as well and but for now we are in the Hague we just walk in this evening period Hopefully that we will dig deeper into the city and show you the beach as well um, Just to show you a few things around and um, It's about 7 p.m. 7.30 getting to now So the buses are also there the trams are passing the bicycles are going um, the buses are coming um, people are walking So it's interesting that um, hopefully that we're gonna be show you a little bit more uh, with regards to uh, The Hague. I want to thank you for watching. We have more to bring to you with regards to what the continent can also learn how the Dutch people have transformed their city. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.